Arabian Ranches is a popular residential community located in the heart of the desert on Emirates Road leading to Abu Dhabi. The community is surrounded by lush landscape gardens with the finest equestrian and golfing facilities in close proximity. All properties in Arabian Ranches are privately owned and the developer is Emar Properties. The perimeter around Arabian Ranches is roughly 10 kilometers. Arabian Ranches offers a variety in property styles and types ranging from large freestanding villas to smaller villas. Each property reflects unique architecture with traditional Spanish, Mediterranean, Portuguese, and Arabic styles. I'm Jan and uh, I live here at Raven Ranches in uh, El Ring, which is the cheap street. <laughs> and we've lived here for 18 months and we came here because of my husband's job. And I have two boys, 11 and 13, who both go to the local school. <laughs> I'm Miranda. Um, we've been in Dubai for three years now. We have three children. They're all in that English speaking schools, not too far into the city. And um, like yourself, husband's job, out we came. But this is our first overseas posting and we love it. Yeah. Well, I'm Lily and um, I'm Chinese, but I'm from Singapore. And from Singapore, I left to Shanghai to work actually. From Shanghai, we moved to New York when we got married and um, we have a son and a daughter. Um, my son is 13 years old and my daughter is 10 years old and from New York we moved to Hong Kong where our son was born, um, Singapore where our daughter was born and we've also lived in Tokyo and now we live in Dubai. Right, I'm Nikki from Namibia, first time out of Namibia, been here almost 10 years this year, got two boys, go to school here in the ranches, came out here because of my husband's work. Uh, yeah, well, here we are. <laughs> um, my name is Erica Clemens. Um, moved to Dubai with my family in September. We stayed in a service department for, I think, about five weeks before we found a house in Arabian Ranches. So we've been there since October, November, December, January, February, March, April, almost six months. We, had, we knew friends in Arabian Ranches and we had visited friends in Arabian ranches over the years and my husband was really um, he, he was really up for actually pushing for or suggesting that we live in an area like Arabian ranches because our kids have never lived in the states we're American but we've never lived in the US and one of the things we really like when we go back to the US and visit family members in their neighborhoods is the fact that the kids could go out and ride their bikes they could um, go down to the community pool, they could play on the basketball ball, ball court, but even better, they could mix and mingle and meet up with neighborhood children. Not much, we were kind of adamant that we want to see um, Springs Lakes and uh, Victory Heights, which um, I was not impressed by Victory Heights. I felt like there was a giant sand pit. I yeah. thought the city was a giant sand pit. Yeah. Oh, well. Sandpit, sand pit, sand pit. Yeah. yeah. And, and I didn't like the idea of that after a, a long day at school or at work that this is what you're going to come home to, to Victory Heights. Yeah. So we knew of somebody that had already left the UK and moved to the ranches. We came and met them and she took us around and at the time there was still a lot of building yeah. going on. So we were in and out of different villas. And I loved it, the fact that there were pavements, there were <laughs> pools for the kids, yeah. you know, it was a gated community, they could go out and cycle, it felt safe. <coughs> um, and it was the only thing that was similar to what we were leaving, yeah. community-wise, mm. you know. Uh, at the weekend, my eldest son, who's 13, goes off to the malls with his friends. They can use the bus, um, which there's a bus that goes all the way around the ranches and then off to Mall of the Emirates. He gets that and uh, then he comes back. I don't really like the idea of getting a taxi. Uh, there's tennis courts, I play tennis and it's free. You just book your slot and then you go along loads of tennis courts. And there's basketball courts, the kids play basketball, there's areas the kids play football. Uh, there's a lake area where the kids cycle around and do jumps and skateboarding and everything. So it's a very safe environment for kids to get out and about in the streets. 
rugby mm -hmm. and football. Taekwondo, there's karate up there um, and all sorts of other things, basketball, um, netball, netball <laughs> swimming. As far as schools go, um, I think schools, finding a school here can be a, a bit overwhelming and daunting. There's like finding a house. Um, there's too, almost too many choices. I think there's too many choices for schools. There's too many choices of homes and neighborhoods and communities. And I think that's why it's such an overwhelming experience. So you've got, you've got the supermarket, so for your everyday basics, fruit, veg, milk, bread, mm -hmm. it's fine. Um, you can go and get your nails done and your hair done. There's yeah. a bookstore, there's Costa Coffee, there's Burger King. Huh? <laughs> Which is full of kids. Yeah, full of kids. When we got here, we used to go to Carrefour and just do like a whole monthly shop and then just go down to park and shop for your nice mm. German bread and things like that, which I, I like. Um, and then moving out here, we did do the old car for run every now and again, but that was, I mean, the traffic here was just horrendous. It, it's better, but I've stopped doing that because you just sort of think, oh, you know, stuff it, you're not going to bother anymore. I don't know any of my neighbours. No. Uh, and where we live, there's an awful lot of Indians where we live, expat Indians, who live a completely different cultural lifestyle to the one we do. Uh, the other day I came home and um, one chap was praying outside the front door on his mat, which is one of the great things about Dubai, that all these cultural differences can take place and no one bats an eyelid, but we don't really have that much in common with them. Mm -hmm. um, so that, for me, that doesn't, it hasn't been a community-minded place at all. There are other areas that we looked at when that lease came up and we could get a much bigger property for what we pay here. But what the kids get from living here, we couldn't replicate by living in Barsha or, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, oh, yeah. um, Sakim and so on. So that definitely outweighed moving areas, for us anyway. Yeah, that's a good answer.